Knife heads, how's it going? Today I'm doing something a little different. You can see I got the concrete jungle behind me here. I'm at the, my local park and I figured, what the heck? Let me jump on here and talk to y'all while I'm at the park. Got this pretty tree. It's budding pretty good. Funny fact about this tree, when I first graduated high school, they was making this park because we never used to have a park in our little town. But I used to work for a grave digging uh, company. We worked for two funeral homes. And when they did this, me and my old boss, we volunteered to come out here and dig. All these trees right here, it goes all the way around the park. We, we, we come out here and dug them with the backhoe and planted them for free to help our uh, little county out here. I just thought I would show you that. That's something I did when I was first out of high school. And I, and I worked at that job for five years before I went on to something bigger and better. But I just thought I'd I'd share that little tidbit with you guys. But yeah. Today I'm, I'm just going to do a little pocket dump for you guys. I ain't got much, much on me today. So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? First up. I got my big lighter and my green slip. Okay, what else do I got? I got the old AirPods. Man needs to help his ears out now. Let's see, what else? Woo! Look at that baby. White ball. This one here is a little stiff. I need, I need to put a little oil on that. Let's try it again. There we go. I was doing it wrong. Don't tell nobody. But this got D2 steel. This is a single blade trapper from Cobra Tech. A little backstory about this knife. It's made in Texas. Cobra Tech and Boker got together and made this. Look here, straight down Broadway, baby. You know, you know how I roll. No, I got knives to the sides or whatever. No, oh, I'll save that one to last. i save that one to last. You guys can't see that one yet. <laughs> oh, I always be carrying this. You see, it's got a little... I've had this knife for a while. I carry this knife to work. Because it's something that I don't care if it gets beat up. And all that good stuff, you know. It's got a safety lock back here. See? No opening the blade. It's got a deep pocket clip. You can put it on either side. Tip up in your pocket. See that one's up, hanging off to the side just a little bit. That one ain't down Broadway, but it's an everyday user. The funny thing about that knife, 
I have never put this knife on a stone and I use it every day. You know what I do to this knife? I said it in my last video. All I do is hit it on a belt, leather belt, and it keeps a good edge. It keeps a good edge. About once a week I hit it on a belt. And let's see here. This this knife, I'm getting ready to show you, is becoming one of my favorites, and I used to hate this. I'm saying I used to hate this bone stag. I would never get it. But then I've been watching these guys on here showing these Warren Cliff blades on on uh, Warren Cliff Wednesday, and I went looking for one. And I found this bone stag, 6.5 stag, bone stag, with the Warren Cliff. And I really dig it. I used to hate the, the, this style of material. I would never buy it. But... I like that one. That's the only one I own of the bone stag, but next one. You ready? I have not showed this knife in a Saudi Sunday yet, but it's coming up this week. If you guys want to see more about that. That's out of that pocket. Uh, this pocket here, this is what I keep in my back pocket by my wallet. Copper lock, mini copper lock. You can see it's getting some scratches on the bolsters and all that stuff. But I really dig that that green. I need to get someone to make me a slip for it. I hate to see it get all runt. Let me put that back. And my last one I'm going to show you guys. I know I got a problem. I got, a, I probably showed six or seven knives. I got a problem. I admit it. Last one. Look, you know, I just got this knife, but look. <laughs> I put it, I put this sleeve in water for probably five seconds. Not long. I just let it fill it up. I dumped it out. I took my knife and I got that painter's tape and I taped it up, put it in there and I formed it around it. Look, that, that baby's got some patina on it. Look at all the scratch marks. You guys know I ain't never took this out of my pocket since I've got it. I got one more and it's in it. I got it on a knife that I hardly ever use because it's a doll baby but well, as you can see look at this you guys know I just got this baby Woo -hoo. love it Look, yeah, this one ain't got no blade wobble or nothing. Guys, that's going to do it for me. I didn't have much to say today. I just want to do a little quick little pocket dump for y'all. And uh, tell everybody... 
that I have not forgot about the giveaway. I am going to do it. I was just waiting a little bit to the ones that watches me every day. I know there's some of you that watch me every day. And there's some that ain't. That's okay. That's okay you don't watch me every time. But the ones that do, I'm letting you know I have not forgot about my giveaway. I, I did reach 500, but I was given it just a, a week or two before I, I did the giveaway for one simple fact. I was making sure that there was no people that just jumped on it. The, the uh, classy button just to get the giveaway and then as soon as they got it they're out so that's why I did that or that's why I'm doing that rather so I hope you guys understand because if they ain't down and they're just here to get the knife that ain't cool and that ain't cool to all my classy knife heads that's been with me from I think I was at like 10 when I hit the uh when I made my first short. And I know for a fact there's a lot of y'all that's been with me from the beginning. So thank you guys. And I have not forgot about the giveaway. I just wanted to say that one more time. It's coming in a week or so. I'm just making sure that people's that's riding with me for now that ain't going to ride with me when I get get it done so y'all stay classy I love y'all stay classy you hear